Hi, my name is Shane Walls. This is the first episode, Miles from Los Angeles, the video series. For this episode, we're about a thousand or so miles from LAX, Los Angeles International Airport in the Columbian Gorge, just outside of Portland, Oregon. Join me as I explore and photograph the beautiful landscapes of the Western United States in the hope of capturing those epic moments of nature's brilliance with my camera to share with you. All these locations are some of the most incredible in the United States, possibly the world, and they're all within a day's drive of Los Angeles, California. Some of these places are a little bit of a long drive, others are very close, but all the locations are completely worth the adventure. This is Miles from Los Angeles, the video series. We just arrived here in the Columbian Gorge. I'm on the scenic highway right now, and we're going to check trail conditions at the visitor center. Um, there's a lot more snow than I expected. Uh, Reading online, there's a lot of trail closures, but we'll see what we can see what we can do. See what we can go around. Um, and I'm all about being safe, but I really do want to push it a little bit to get that shot that most people can't see this time of year. It's going to be difficult treading through the snow and ice, the down trees. Um, but we'll see what we can do and try to get that next shot. This is why I truly love the Columbia Gorge. You have absolutely amazing, beautiful waterfalls just off the side of the road. Now we're going to hunt for a little bit harder one to get to. It's about a three or four mile hike. It's going to be interesting with this kind of weather and this much snow on the ground. So we're going to go try and find it. It's a newly discovered waterfall, so I'm very excited. So we're up in Hood, Oregon, in one of the local breweries, kind of planning out our trip for the next couple of days. Here, let me show you what we're up against. Here we are up in Hood River, and this is where we're going to be shooting. But according to the ranger, a lot of the trails here are closed due to too much snow and ice as well as part of the scenic road, which that's what we're going to drive into to get to the trails. So um, we're still going after that waterfall, but we're going to see what we can do with the conditions that we're given. So I decided to use today as more of a scouting day. The trails aren't officially closed up here, but as you can see, they're very dangerous. So um, we're gonna do the four mile hike around the area, get more of an idea of the conditions of the trails higher up with more snow, and we'll go from there. Now, as you can see by this debris and the fallen trees behind me, it was a rough winter up here in Oregon. Um, it's late February, we still have a lot of snow on the ground, it's making it a little treacherous to get around here. But the waterfalls are absolutely beautiful. There are no people up here. It's not the prettiest time of year to be here, but again, you have all the trails to yourself. There's beauty in certain ways where the snow and the water meet, and you don't often see that up here. It's just about getting there safely and being able to photograph it. So we've reached the falls, and right now I'm photographing from a little farther back, so I don't have to keep cleaning the camera. Um, we are going to go a little bit closer because I really want to emphasize the snow here. It snows here quite often, but it's very difficult to get here through this trail when there's snow on it. So I really want to take full advantage of the waterfall being close enough, getting the snow, but also not worrying about getting too much spray on my camera.
With all the waterfalls I shoot, I try to shoot them with a long exposure to show the motion of the water, have it coming down the stream and look more like a mist or a cloud. And I'm doing that today. I have two stops of ND filters on the front of the lens, which is giving me a three second exposure. And there's so much water coming down right now, that's gonna be just plenty. With this waterfall, I'm lining it up so I can direct the eye where I want it to. So I'm starting up with the waterfall up top there, a little off to the left, but then kind of snakes its way down to the middle center of the frame. Let's just follow the coyote tracks for now. They usually take the easiest way. So we've been hiking for about an hour now. We finally found the stream. So from all the reading I've been doing, we'll follow this stream up and it'll lead to a trail which will lead closer into the mountains. Well, hopefully we'll find the trail that leads to this elusive waterfall. Now, this waterfall is very difficult to get to in the summertime. So I'm really expecting it to be difficult now with the snow and ice. But I love this challenge. We're going to see this waterfall at the time that very few other people do. So we're going to do our best, try to find the trail, see if we can even get to it, and find this waterfall and hopefully capture a good image. I was so excited to once again be back on the trails hunting for this piece of waterfall. To be honest, the last few days were a little frustrating, being pinned down by the weather and not being able to do these full hikes in the search for this waterfall. After over three hours of strenuous hiking, reaching the top of the gorge and seeing the sun for the first time filled me with even more energy to keep going and find this waterfall. So here we are, we've made it to the top of the mountain. A um, few problems we ran into, I'm the only person that made it up this far, so now it's just you and me um, for the rest of the journey. Another problem, as you might notice, my microphone got a little wet, so now we're using on-camera audio. But things are looking up. The sun just came out from behind the clouds. It's actually turned into a beautiful day. Um, we're on to the next of our hiking plan, and as you can see, it's a little steeper than I first imagined. But I'll pan the camera over for you. This is now where we're going to be heading. You can hear the stream. It's going to be a little iffy with half snow, half wet rock, and a pretty steep incline, as you can see. Um, but we're here to get the shot. We're going to do what it takes. Um, I have a rope, so we'll go from there. This is what I truly love, being off the beaten path and just experience the wonderment and beauty of nature. For now though, I knew I'd have to soak this all in on the way back. I had only moments to find this waterfall and set up camera to photograph it, just as the sun peeked over the ridge to fill the valley with light. Looks like we found it. 